Good morning from the Magic Kingdom on the 50th anniversary. So it's a little after 7 in the morning. They've already been letting people in. We're meeting our friend Morgan here. So she's up by the castle. We'll see if we can meet up or if we'll meet up with her later. But the entrance is not busy. This is not too bad at all. Probably because everyone's already in the park. We are in the park. There's a massive line for the Emporium, it looks like. But here's a look at the commemorative map that we got. It's very shiny and iridescent. Very exciting. We're trying to make our way up to the castle. But there she is on her big day. It's kind of washed out, but she's looking great. I also wanted to show as we're walking down Main Street towards the castle that the new Cinderella pumpkin wreaths are out with the gold foil. They look fine, but I still miss the Mickeys. But I agree that they probably do match the decorations a little bit better. So we are here. It's a little after 7, but the rest of the park doesn't open until 8. So everyone's just kind of trapped on Main Street, which is why the line for the Emporium was so long. But again, our friend Morgan came here earlier and she went in the Emporium and said there's nothing new. So they have a virtual queue for the Big Top Souvenirs, which is where all the special merchandise for today will be. So we're going to check that out a little bit later. But we are making our way down to the castle. <laughs> she went to the bathroom, but I told her to go that way. <laughs> so that she can go that way. Yeah. 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 And they're definitely yeah. limiting yeah. yeah. the yeah. for her. Yeah. And since it's the one store, I feel like they After we saw the welcome show and the lands open throughout the park, we came over to Storybook Circus to get in this line for the new popcorn buckets because they have some iridescent balloon buckets that released today. But it's a pretty long line, so we're here off to the side by the speedway and it kind of wraps around into the Dumbo queue and then back around to the car to the actual popcorn cart. So I think we're going to be here for a little while. So we are heading into Big Top Souvenir to check out all of the 50th day of merchandise. But I did want to show we waited like an hour in line to all get the golden iridescent balloon popcorn bucket Proud yeah we we earned it but it's really fun it comes in four colors there's gold like a pink iridescent blue and green but now we're coming back to a silly sideshow to wait in line to get all of the anniversary collection merchandise that says october 1st 2021 on it that you can only buy today so here's a look at all of the anniversary collection merchandise that released today so we have a youth t-shirt a bucket hat a women's shirt and a unisex shirt this leather jacket, or jacket with leather sleeves, a spear jersey, and there's a separate spear jersey that released in Epcot, so this one's a Magic Kingdom exclusive, and then there's an Epcot exclusive as well. And then the other side, we have a Magic Band. It's more pricey than the normal Magic Band. I don't know why, we haven't seen it yet, but I'm assuming that it's day of. Water bottle poster, which it looks very similar to the one that was on Shop Disney, so I'm not sure what's different about this one. But then there's a, ma a mug, an ornament, two pins, one's a passholder exclusive as well as a passholder exclusive shirt. It's a little hard to see out here, but I'll try to show it inside as long as it's not too chaotic in there. Here is a look at the merchandise in person. So here's the women's shirt. There's a look at the spear jersey with the dates on the sleeves, the jacket, youth shirt and the bucket hat. And then in the case we have mug, water bottle, pins, ornament, and the magic band as well. 
We took a break from the park and came over to the Contemporary to check out the brand new lobby, which looks incredible. I love this mural. And then there's all the new check-in desks with some nice seating areas. It looks very different from what was here before. And then the new entrance to Steakhouse 71, which replaced the wave. It looks incredible. So we came up to the outer rim. Um, you may hear some construction sounds in the background. It's so nice. But we got the two new specialty drinks for the 50th anniversary. So I got the Magical Beacon, which is the alcoholic drink that has gin and blue curacao and a few other things in it with a glow cube. And then Amanda got the Sipabration, which comes in the souvenir 50th cup. And they have five different characters. So here at the Contemporary, they had Mickey. And you dunk Mickey in to flavor your lemonade. Yeah, it's like a bath, bath, a drink bomb. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. So, all yeah, right. he already oh, mixed his in. There's a, there it is. Before and after. That's so fun. I don't know what you the want other... You to do it? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Bye, Mickey. Oh my god, it looks violent. It has to happen. It's such a fun idea though. So for dinner, we came over to Contempo Cafe because I wanted the new resort mug. We haven't eaten here in a while and they have great food. But they do some new 50th stuff, which we're not getting today. But they have this 50th anniversary cupcake that looks amazing with the Contemporary logo because the Contemporary also turned 50. They also have this peanut butter banana pie, which looks really good. And then a Halloween mini cake as well. And then the Cinderella cupcake and the Monorail cupcake, both of which we've tried before. They're both good. Oh, I like the logo on there. Yeah, I love the 50th Contemporary logo. So it's super fun. But yeah, we're gonna go pick up our orders. I'll show our new 50th resort mugs. Here is a look at the food we got from Contempo Cafe. Here's my turkey sandwich that I had the last time I came here. And I was a big fan. Now Amanda wasn't super hungry. So she got a side of chicken noodle soup. Yeah. I'm excited to hear if it's good though. I mean, it looks pretty decent. We're gonna find out. And then I got, which is very exciting, the brand new 50th Resort mug. There are two different designs. There's this one and then one that has Mickey Minnie in their car and it's like a blue sky with different resorts. It's called Swan. Now. Yeah, I saw. So this is the more iridescent option and then there's another one. But the other one's more resort themed. This is more, well, I guess this is park and resort. But it's got Maui from the Polynesian, which is the main reason I needed it. It's got all kinds of cool different icons on here. But yeah, if you're mobile ordering it and you're confused, this one's called the Swan Design because there's a swan here, which I'm assuming is in honor of the swan boats that used to be in the Magic Kingdom. The other one is called the Mickey's Car Ride. But they come with this blue and gold alternating lid, or there's an alternate option where it's a gold handle, gold lid with a blue little like topping. Oh. My brother got that one, so that's what the gold option looks like. And you can get either color combination for both designs. We didn't get the other option for the design of the mug. But yeah, this is a really cool one. I'm glad to add to my collection. We have made it back into Magic Kingdom. We got our spot for the fireworks, which is on the bridge over by Cosmic Rays into like the connector between Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. The Main Street and Hub area was completely full, so we won't get to see the projections on Main Street today or the projections on the front of the castle, but we'll still get to see projections. So this should, is still, in my opinion, a really great view because we still have a dead-on view of the castle and the fireworks will launch right off to the right. So we'll get to see everything and then, of course, we have 18 months to come back and get better views of the show from the front and seeing all the Main Street. But I did want to give a look at the iridescent projections for the Beacon of Magic because I can't describe in, like how good this looks in person. It's like subtly moving. It's just, it's so shiny. I mean, as I've said in other vlogs, I'm not the biggest fan of the daytime color scheme. I love the decoration, but I don't like the pink. But like you can tell that they painted it because of this projection and it looks really good. So I am a huge fan. And Enchantment's been getting not the best reviews online. We did watch the live stream last night. I didn't think it was that bad. So I'm very excited to see it in person and the projections didn't show very well in the live stream. So I think it'll be exciting to see in person and see how we really feel about the show. Thank you. 
Now that the fireworks crowds have dispersed, we came to get a look at the front of the iridescent castle. I am obsessed with these projections. This is the, by far the best projections I think I've ever seen on Cinderella Castle. I did not know the 50 had lights built into it until we saw pictures a few days ago, but it looks so good. Like, I don't think the camera's probably doing it justice, but like all the subtle little movements in the projections and the rainbow. I'm hoping that the beacon of magic goes off in a few minutes because I do want to see that from the front, but I am very, very pleased with these projections. Good evening, friends. Tonight, 
a special magic flows through this majestic castle. The magic of fantasy. We gather together as our dreams ignite the swirling pixie dust, creating a beacon that shines out in celebration of 50 years of the most magical place on Earth. going to be it for our visit out to Magic Kingdom's 50th anniversary. I'm just excited to say that we were able to be a part of being here today. Yeah, I've never, well I know you have, I've never been to like an anniversary of anything, so. Yeah, I've been to Epcot and Hollywood Studios before, but not a big one like this, so it was exciting. Um, I will say they probably didn't do as much as I thought they would, but getting like the commemorative map and the poster and the new merchandise was super fun. And getting to see the opening show was so cool because it wasn't really 50th specific. I think they're going to do it every morning from now on. But it was the first one since the pandemic, so it's still yeah. exciting to see it. There's only so much they can do with there still being a pandemic. Oh yeah, um, for sure. And seeing the first enchantment was fun. I enjoyed the show. Yeah, it's much better in person than um, watching live stream. Don't judge it from that. The yeah. The quality was terrible. <laughs> Uh, it was just really bad filming. Um, it's just hard to pick board. up the projections on a camera. Yeah, it's the issue. The, I don't even know how it looks in our are video. Gorgeous. They're so clear. They're so they're beautiful, and they have like the decorations from for the 50th. Like it's projected projected perfectly. Yeah, it was mapped very well. So, and it's just so pretty. Um, we didn't really hear the music much because we were off to the side, um, but we will see it again so that we can oh, yeah. hear the music. But it, I feel like it'll grow on people um, the more they see it. I think people are just hurt that Happily Ever After ended because it was such a good show, it but good I show. do think it, that it's a worthy 50th show. I enjoyed it. I think it's going to grow on people over time. Yeah, I mean, I teared up. The original tonight, song is so. really good. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely give it a shot. I agree that the live stream did not do it justice. So, definitely come check it out in, over the next 18 months and if it stays longer. But, yeah, that was it. So, it was a fun yeah, time. Yeah, we also didn't see the projections down Main Street. No. So, I'm sure that was really cool as well. It didn't show at all, really, on the, the live stream. It was yeah. very, very dull. No, we have plenty of time to see it. So, we will definitely film Enchantment again. But that is it for today's visit because the park has officially closed. But yeah. we were waiting here because we thought that the characters were going to come and say bye on the train station, yeah, but didn't. nothing happened. So. But that is it for this one. Um, definitely subscribe because we have more park days this weekend. We're going to head out to Animal Kingdom yeah. and try to catch the beacon of magic there. Um, definitely check out our, our Epcot video if you didn't. Um, Maybe Kite Tail? I don't know if we're going to make it in time for the last show, but we'll try. Oh, is that only during the day? Yeah, oh. and we're not going until later in the day. But. Um, we did just check out Harmony the other day, and we're going to come back here in a few days to try to see Enchantment again from a different view. So definitely subscribe and check out all those videos. But thanks for watching, and we will see you guys the next time we go to Disney and beyond.